What you're about to see in this video, you are not going to want to miss because it is going to change everything for your trading. Welcome back to another video, Prosperity Family, here on the Prosperity Academy YouTube channel, the fastest growing smart money concept YouTube channel in the entire industry. What I'm about to break down to you is what you are currently seeing on the screen. Yes. Again, guys, you guys reacted so well from that last video that I have dropped an absolute another banger. It's going to be better than the last video. So stick around to see exactly how you execute both of these positions and how also in there, there is a loss taken. So guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and drop a comment down below to show your support to the family. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything so you guys can start from scratch and just see how I'm building the narrative from start to finish. So first things first, we are on the four hour time frame. So we're gonna drop up to the daily time frame for a minute. And the first thing we wanna understand is essentially what is the structure of the daily time frame, right? It's very simple. It's like, okay, where is the daily time frame trending? And so very clearly you can see guys, we have you know the high up here that gets wicked above here and then we have a break of structure and followed by the break of structure we have a low a lower high a lower low a lower high another lower low and finally more than likely a lower high before making a new lower low now why would we presume that it's very simple it's order flow is bearish so we know that the banks have the intention to push price down and continue playing out their narrative until they decide otherwise. So until this high gets broken, we are completely looking for shorts and we are looking for those shorts within the top, you know, 25% of this leg. So anywhere, anywhere essentially from this order block here to this order block here. Now, when there's usually two order blocks like this and there's no real liquidity to take, we use the first order block as the liquidity. So this was our liquidity because there would have been a lot of smart money traders that don't understand smart money liquidity had been involved in this area. But now you can see we have our origin, our extreme origin supply zone, which is marked out here in gray. We have our supply zone in here on the daily time frame. So we just drop out to the four hour now just dropping down our time frames we are expecting guys expectational order flow to pull up into here and push down and take out these lows so we're expecting that these lows will get liquidated because that is the exact area that the banks are taking price to right price are moving downwards price is bearish banks are incentiv incentivizing price to move to the downside so it's very simple to understand why we would move price to the downside we are not exclaiming we're geniuses we're just regular people who understand these concepts so we're into the supply zone now supply range shall i say essentially the first thing that we are going to want to see in this supply range is going to be a sweep of liquidity right we want to see most part especially with a supply zone this big and we only tap in this light these are the fine details guys what we want to see is a sweep of liquidity. So we want to see some false inducement, some push down, which will get all of the early sellers into the market. And then once they take out all the early sellers and then give a change of character, then we are going to get into our entry. And that's exactly how we're going to play this one. And so if you can see, that's exactly what happens. Price starts to move down, inducing more than likely early early sellers to look to get involved and then we have a huge spike of liquidity now there is so much volume that has come into this move it's very clearly been done with a purpose so once this moves once this shifts once there is a change of character we can assume now that we are trading on the right side of the market mm -hmm. so you can see now that we have put in the high we've liquidated the high so this this wick has taken out this wick which is a liquidation 
and then you can see that we change character. So let me just break this down very clearly to you guys if we zoom in. The fine details, guys. This low puts in a high right here. This high pulls back 50% of this leg and puts in a new high right here. This high remains. Okay, yes, there's some level of liquidity, but liquidity has already been taken. So price could run for our entry, and if it does run for our entry, we'll get another entry. So understanding now that this is the low that put in the most recent high, we just need to see that get broken and it gets broken. And so then you have the question, where was it broken from, right? It's very simple. If this, then that, it was broken from the supply zone. Okay, so we would take our entry from the supply zone and we'll put our stop loss we know we have a little bit of liquidity here. Our stop loss, 11 pip stop loss. So it's a fairly, you know, it's a decent, it's a sniper entry in relation to swing trading. Because guys, let's zoom out here and look at where we are expecting price to go. We are genuinely expecting price to go and take out the lows down here. And you know, everyone will say, that's impossible or you know just all of these nonsense look at all of the buildup of liquidity guys it's, it doesn't take an expert to understand that all of that is liquidity it doesn't take an expert to understand that all of this is liquidity and we know now that the banks send price into liquidity so it's that simple you don't have to be a genius it just you have to be patient for sure and you have to know what you're doing. You have to know all of the concepts. So that would literally be our entry because now we've seen the shift. And if we're wrong, we'll look to get in again because we are in the right area where we want to be in for price to do what it wants to do. And so you can generally see an instant reaction from the zone. We've stayed into the trade, protecting the highs. You know, we haven't actually taken out the highs. We've put relatively equal highs in. Again, but we're protected because we've covered the highs. And then it's just essentially playing price out. So I'm actually going to drop to the higher time frame now to, you know, speed things up a little bit. But don't go anywhere because there's a lot more than just this breakdown alone. There's something very valuable that comes. You just have to wait for it to come. It's any minute now, essentially what's going to happen is you're going to see a pullback starting to happen. Of course, like price will not just go from here to here in a straight line. It will have to build more liquidity. So likely what price will do is it will start pushing down, pushing down, pushing down until some point it will pull up 50% of the zone. And in any zone that's, you know, 50% or above, we just wait for the same thing. Sweep, change of character, entry, and then we have another trade. Now there is a losing trade in here, but there is also a winning trade. And I wanna show you guys both because of course we are not perfect. You cannot win every single trade. Anybody who tells you you can win every single trade has no idea about trading, to be quite frank. So we just drop to the four hour time frame. I just wanna really speed this up for you. You can see right now as well that, you know, the trade is already running 20R. So essentially what we're going to see is a pullback. And okay, so now you can essentially see once this supply level right here, once this supply zone gets taken out, that is a change of character. So what that will imply is that price is pulling back, right? Now we know we're going to pull back. Okay, where? 50% of this leg. So anywhere here or above. So if I look at this personally, what I would recommend identifying is this as lower time frame liquidity. So let me just zoom in so you guys understand exactly why it is that I'm trying to show you. So we can remove this. Remove that. And for now, we're going to remove you. Just come in here. On the lower time frame, we're on the four hour right now. On the 15 minute, that is going to be a trend line. Literally, that will be a trend line, which is liquidity. Now, what else is there? There's a very violent sweep of liquidity right here where this wick goes boom. And that's where the real momentum came back in. 
you can see we put in a leg down, a pull back, and then momentum comes back in. A short pull back, and then momentum comes back in. So we've taken this, so the next best place to look at is going to be this area right here. I think all of you can agree with me based off that logic of why you would look at taking that zone. So for some of you guys who have been through my other videos before this, you will already know that usually for zones like this, where the wick is much larger than the body, I often take 50% of the overall wick. Now I'm going to be honest. There are some cases where psychology just genuinely gets to you and you know, you you don't take the 50%, you, you just see what happens. Let me just explain to you, right? Let me show you. When price gets back into this zone and it has its first tap in like this and you're going on to the 15 minute time frame, I already know in my mind or at least assume that this is going to be taken out as liquidity. You can see it's only tapped in very shortly. It's given no change of character. There's trend line liquidity building. So in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, the probability is, is that's going to get swept as liquidity, right? And then when it doesn't get swept by liquidity, when it's not liquidated, essentially, you are start to challenge, start to question yourself, start to challenge yourself, and you're wondering, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I missed it, and then that's where you know psychology comes in, and emotion starts to get involved, and you start to essentially look to get involved into the market at the origin of the leg, because you can see this is inducement, this is a, a smart money trap. You see the trend on liquidity here. And so in my mind, I'm saying, well, you know what? We have tapped in. We've tapped in. We've given a change of character. Maybe, just maybe, it doesn't have to sweep this time. And that is true. Like, it doesn't have to always sweep. And that is essentially why this trade got me a little bit. And that's totally also understandable. But you can see, as we just essentially play price out, what actually goes on to happen with this position Playing price out. So this would be our entry. Still nothing. You can see straight liquidated. And so you can understand why part of me would, you know, look at this and have the perception of it doesn't need to be swept. But if there's anything I can take away from you, it's like if you, if you believe it's going to be swept, you don't allow yourself to get induced because that is pure psychology, right? And again, we all suffer from that as traders. I know that's something you guys can heavily relate to me as kind of that FOMO emotion. And I'm not some superhuman. I'm just like you guys. You know, I'm just maybe a few steps ahead in the journey. And that's why I enjoy doing this with you guys because I get to just continuously grow and learn with you guys. Anyway, enough of that. You can see that we sweep the high. And where do we tap into? Our, our darker gray box, which is the 50%. So we've taken a loss and that's totally okay. If you just actually zoom out for a moment, you will see that we're still in this trade as well, by the way, guys. So we're still in this trade, that's still open. Now we've pulled back to 50% of here. And so essentially what you just need to see is, and you can see as well, guys, by the way, how much momentum comes in. So that's com that's that's what we call manipulation. It's when the such momentum comes in, it's very purposeful. That's clear, purposeful manipulation of price into a pool of liquidity. There was obviously a lot of liquidity sitting in and around that area. So essentially, what we can then go and see is price taps in and gives us a change of character. This is the demand zone right here that's put in the most recent high. I'm more confident now, we've had a sweep of liquidity, we've had a change of character. I am more than confident to look to get into my short position from the extreme origin of this order block up here. And again, what? Ride it down all the way into the final take profit down here, our swing trade. 
And so we just have to wait for price to pull back. Price pushes down, reacts to our level of demand, play price. Okay, so now we know that price has also had a break of structure, which gives us extra confirmation. We now know that the structural low has been taken out. So we know that the bias has shifted. We assumed it had shifted with the change of character, but now we know for sure that the bias have shifted with the shift of structure. Again, a nine pip stop loss. Just waiting for price essentially to play out and hit our zone, right? Again, there is no coincidences in this market. Every single movement, every single action, every single zone, every single area of liquidity, it's all done by design. You know, it's all algorithmically controlled. So if you just understand it, understand the algorithm, you win the game, right? And so your job is just essentially to understand how these banks operate in these markets. That's exactly what you're doing right now. So you're in exactly the right place. So plain price, and now some of you might be asking, okay, we've pulled back, we've pushed down. You could also take an entry in here. Now at this point in time, I personally wasn't, you know, active involved in the markets. However, you could essentially take a position here because it's pulled back 50% and then it's put in a new low. And so you could take a trade here and leave the origin on, right? This is the, this is the flip zone it's flipped the level that pulled back this is the origin zone that caused the original you know change of character and shift of order flow so having your risk diversified across both of those positions is totally okay understandable right as you can see again when you zoom out you can see you can understand why there would be people getting involved in the area i didn't actually even take the trade however that trade gets it tags in gives some reaction if you if it would have been taken gives a nicer reaction and then it essentially just ends up sweeping the level and then tagging into the origin which is absolutely no surprise like that that should come out no shock to any of you guys of the degree of accuracy in that trade because it's completely logical it's exactly essentially how it should have played out and then you can see you know it hovered around there a few times before eventually literally melting off it still doesn't hit full cp though full cp is all the way down here again you could be taking partials off in here and i would be this is still a week up right it's like if you look at internal structure you can see that it goes like this and so if you look at the external of the internal this high failed to take up this one. So this is a weak low. So it would be more than logical to be able to take partial profits at that level. Because again, at any point in time, price could give you one of these major wicks as it looks like it's picking up levels of demand and go and take the highs out just because the banks have decided that they're not gonna continue with their bias because there is always a time where price reverses right there's always a time where the order flow shifts and so there's going to be a time at some point where order flow is bearish and all of a sudden it goes bullish and so you never know exactly when that time is until it happens that's why you always want to take partials taking partials at this low down here at this level locks you in 35r it locks you in 35r 70r across two positions over literally just a couple of weeks and then before you know it you know price starts to kind of catch a bit of a range in that area before eventually just melting off right and hitting your full cps and there you have it guys, there is like an overall over 100 risk to reward over three trades, one loss, two wins, like super normal sniper entry using smart money concepts to swing trade. And that guys is it. 
so much value has gone into that video guys if you did enjoy the video please do hit that thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click the comment button down below if you have any questions related to this or tell us what video topic you want to see next and for every one of you guys wondering how to learn how to do this like a pro you can go and see the links that are available in the description and guys i'll see you in the next one peace